Hi, so we're going to take a look today at uh, the titration of a weak base with strong acid. So we did this the other day, we titrated acetic acid. This is the formula for acetic acid. And in equilibrium, it breaks apart into uh, H plus and the conjugate base. Okay, this has a Ka, so if you write the equilibrium expression for this, it's Ka is H plus, the CH3COO negative, all over the acid. And when, when we're titrating, um, so this is, this is at this point here. If I'm at equilibrium, the, the acid's just sitting there. It's not doing anything. Uh, and we can get a lot of information from that. If we know uh, the concentration of the acid, you can use Ka to solve for the, the pH. We can do a Rice chart. Uh, you should be able to do that. So, um, and so this is, this is uh, the starting point. Um, Let's say I have a zero point, um, you know, zero point two zero molar acetic acid, and if I want to figure out what my um, what my pH is at this starting point, we use a Rice chart here. So um, I'm just going to label this here. This is Rice chart. We have no titration going on, and we want to have, um, yeah, so we want to get the pH at that point. Hang on a second. Uh, I think I messed up. It's our release time today. Yes. <laughs> right. Ah, good luck. Uh, new plans. <laughs> Okay, so um, the, the next part is if, what, what happens if we are titrating and we want to get the pH in this region? So this region here is, is before the equivalence point. And as we can see, that there's a lot of stuff. This is, it's flat for a very long period of time. If you're titrating and adding a lot of stuff, nothing really happens. And so, um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, well, I'm going to pick a point here somewhere in the middle. So we add, um, well, if we started with 20 milliliters of acetic acid, let's say I'm going to add like 10 milliliters of NaOH. Okay, well, I'm going to make it a, 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 I'll make it 12 milliliters. So I'm going to add 12 milliliters of 0 0.10 molar NaOH. Okay. And I want to figure out what the, what is the pH at this point now. So this is before the equivalence point and it's we're titrating it or it's reacting somewhat and we need to know, well, how do I get the pH? So, I'm going to move over here. Take this. Shift it over. And let's just write down our information first. So we have we have a 0 0.20 molar solution of uh, acetic acid. It's my acid, and I've also got point so 20 milliliters of that. Now titrating. with uh, 12 milliliters of 0 0.10 molar uh, NaOH. And so let's first get moles of both things. Whenever you have a titration, we use a Rebecca chart. Rebecca chart is used for moles and titrating only. Um, so I'm going to go get moles 
is molarity times liters. And if you have uh, 0.20 molar times 0.02 liters, that's going to be 0 0.004 moles of acid. Okay. Now, do the same thing with my base. So, point. Uh, 10 0 molar NaOH times 0 0.012 liters. That's 0 0.0012 moles of NaOH. And now we have to, to set up a Rebecca chart. We need a reaction. So this is not the equilibrium. This is not the rice chart. We are reacting an acid in a base now. So you have to write this reaction out separately. And that's going to be the acid. So CH3COOH plus my base. So OH negative. It's right, net ionic equation. Uh, only care about the OH minus and not the Na anymore because Na is a spectator. I'm going to write a one-way arrow. For our reaction, we're going to form water and the conjugate base, CH3, COO negative. Okay, so this is my first step here is write this out. Remember, this is moles for your Rebecca chart. Now I'm going to start plugging in my moles of things. So my acid is 0 0.004 moles. So I'm going to have 0 0.004 moles, and I write moles in there. My base, OH, 0 0.0012 moles, and then 0. I don't care about water. Water is not going to play a role in uh, my Rebecca chart. Uh, I, with moles, just figure out what is the limiting reactant. In this case, this one is smaller, so I'm going to go by 0 0.0012 of this, 0 0.0012 of this, right? And the difference between this and a strong acid, strong base is instead of just making water, you are also making a conjugate base here. So there, you can't ignore that. We have to take this amount and we're now we're going to increase it so this is going to be 0 0.0012 moles of the conjugate base. Okay, so once we have that set up, now we have 0 0.0012 moles of this. We have zero moles of this. This is going down by. Um, I I'm taping something right now. Can you come back in like 10 minutes? Can you come back in 10 minutes? I'm taping something right now. You want me to come back in 10 minutes? Yes. All right. Hey, how do I get on your computer? I'll, I'll log in. Okay. Okay, so we have um, 0 0.4, 0 0.004 moles of this. Subtract this, and we're going to go down to 0 0.0028 moles of this substance here. So we have the acid at this. We have the base, the conjugate base at this. Um, and the, the issue now is, well, once we have these two numbers, we can't just calculate the pH anymore by you looking at H plus or, or something else. We've got to, we have to use both values because they are connected um, through the Ka expression. Okay, so this thing here, this thing here, if we've got both things in solution, uh, there's a special name for that. It's called a buffer. A buffer is something that if you have the acid and its conjugate, or vice versa, if you have a base and it's conjugate, both in solution, they can react with with different things and, and, and they, they kind of buffer the effects of an acid or a base. So I'm gonna take this right now um, and, and solve for what the pH is at this point. So I'm gonna come back here, erase this, I'm gonna keep my Ka expression. Okay, so I've got this here, 
these two things here, um, and I need to figure out what the concentrations of both of these are at the point of titration. So let me just write down what we've got so far. We have this, um, my moles of CH3COOH are 0 0.0028 moles. I've got moles of CH3COO negative, that is 0 0.0012 moles. And, and now I just need to get concentrations of these, um, which I divide by the liters. Okay, so we're going to use the total liters at this point. If you recall, we started with 20 milliliters of this, and we titrated with 12 milliliters of this. And so that leaves us with 32 milliliters total. So my total volume is 20 plus 12, so it's 32 milliliters total. I'm going to go ahead and divide this out. So my molarity of this, the CH3COOH, is going to be 0 0.0028 divided by that in liters, so 0 0.032. So that equals 0 0.0028. 0 0.0875, okay, so that's my molarity. My CH3COO negative, this thing here, uh, CH3COO negative, is 0 0.0012 moles divided by 0 0.032 liters, so same volume, 0 0.0012, 0 0.032, that equals 0 0.0375 molar. Okay. Um, I'm going to plug this back into here now. I, I just realized I forgot to give you one value. So I, I need to find, I want to find this H plus here. Um, that's my key to figuring out pH. I didn't give you Ka. So um, I'm going to give you the Ka for this acid. And so this acid has a Ka value of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, so this is, this is something that's given to you. Um, and now I need, well, I've got this. I've got this. I have Ka. And I want to solve for H+. Plus. Okay, so... so what we're going to do is I'm going to rearrange some stuff here. So if I want to figure out H plus by itself, I do a rearranging. Okay, so rearrange. And I get H plus to equal Ka times, and if I move this over here, say times The, the acid concentration all over, if I take this and divide it over here, the CH3COO negative. Okay, so let me just clear out some of this stuff so that it's a little less jumbled. I'm going to start substituting things back in here. So this is Ka is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. That's given to you. This number here is what we solved down here. So that was my 0 0.0875. Okay. So I'm going to write this here is 0 0.0875. And then down here, this value is going to be the point zero three seven five, zero point zero three seven five molar. I think I did that all right. And so now I go ahead and plug in the calculator. Make sure that you use this function to so use the um, that function. Go ahead and. and Enter that in. So 1.8 at 10 minus 5 
times 0 0.0875 all over 0 0.0375. So I'm entering it like that. You don't have to put the parentheses on top, but I like to do that just to make sure that my calculator doesn't screw anything up for me. Okay, and I end up with H plus is 4.2 times 10 to the minus 5. Where does that leave us? Well, if I want the pH, that's equal to the negative log of that. So there's negative log of this business here. So you negative log that, and that is 4.37 or 38, I guess. Okay, so um, that's a lot, I know, but it takes this whole area between the, the, the starting point and the equivalence point is really important. The buffer region and calculating the pH between there is, is uh, yeah, it's, it's going to take some practice. But I hope you get all that down, and, and we'll get some more practice problems now. Thanks.